leader of awaiting the second coming of Jesus Christ ministry. Adewale Giwa has called on President Muhammadu Buhari to, as a matter of urgency, use his office to split Nigeria into parts before the 2023 election. Giwa, in a statement to Daily Post on Thursday, specifically said the crisis rocking the All Progressive Congress was as a result of the presidential ambition of some politicians who want to control the country at all costs. The cleric urged Buhari to allow Nigerians go their different ways in peace before the 2023 election. According to Giwa, Nigerians are ready to forgive the Ma administration of President Muhammadu Buhari in the last five years if he can listen to the cries of the citizens this time around and split the country into parts. We should not wait till the 2023 presidential election tears us apart before the presidential before the president makes this decision. Already, some politicians are playing the game against the rules. If nobody could fix Nigeria since 1960, 1999 and now, I don't think we should expect any messiah to wipe the tears of, from our eyes after the exit of President Muhammad Buhari. Our population is over 200 million and we have over 500 languages being spoken across the country. So, it is glaring that the nation is big for a person to control. Abraham, Abraham and Lot parted ways when the land of Bethel could not support them with their flocks and herds. When fight broke out between the herdsmen of Abraham and Lot, Abraham talked it over with Lot and allowed him to choose any land or region he wanted. They parted ways and that solved their differences. You don't join people together by force when things are not working. There are a lot of uh, hypocrites in Christianity and Islam who cannot call a spade a spade. I have decided to come out to say this for peace to reign in Nigeria. 2023 presidential election will do more harm than good in the country. The current crisis rocking the APC is all about who wants to be the next president. The North is not ready to cede power to the South, while the East is also yearning for the position. Boko Haram and other terrorist groups are busy killing innocent Nigerians on a daily basis. Where is the unity in Nigeria? Those who do not want the progress of the country would want things to continue this way so that they can continue to get a share of the national cake. Mm -hmm. I think uh, one northerner also has said it, that there's, it's not a bad idea for people to go their separate way and it will be it will be everything will be okay everything will be settled then if you want to fight you know who you are fighting you know your leader you are going to be holding your leader leaders accountable just like uh, the way people are always saying oh why are people always referring to the center why they have their governors they have their local leaders they don't say uh, address some issues to them everything is uh, for the center every blame goes to the uh, the president everything goes to this president which is fine but <laughs> That is the way it ought to go because no matter what you want to do, a lot of things, all of this is because most of the, how many, most of the decisions being taken are coming from that side. That's why people always look at those things, look at those areas. Of course, the governors are, are, are supposed to be head responsible because the, what is playing out at the center is still playing out at the state level. And more so, more so, the, this cleric or the pastor himself, he has said the truth, but... <laughs> I just think uh, maybe it's a wishful thinking. Just advise him. You are just telling him which other people have been saying. So me, it's just a wishful thinking. It's a good thing, but the person you are telling, <laughs> they don't. It's, it's far, 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 far from them. Ordinary restructuring, they don't want it. Why? And most importantly, the so-called leaders of the uh, uh, other tribes too. Like I always say, they work. All of them work in isolation. They don't work in isolation. They work together. They work together, and those who are really benefiting, they are the ones who are really saying, oh, uh, it is good, Nigeria is good, Nigeria is that, because they are getting one thing or the other. They will not want to. Even the people you think that are supposed to be talking for their own people, they don't want it. Is it not recently we are hearing from, a, taking example for, from what this man said, the governor of a Yomo state, what was his name? Uh, Opu Zodima. He said he believes in one Nigeria. 
even with all the things happening under his nose, with what has been happening before he got there, he's, he didn't know. He's not as if these people didn't know, but because he's favoring them, oh, everything is getting rosy, they are getting their own this thing. They will, they will never, because they are the ones that are supposed to channel all these complaints, they are the ones that are supposed to be saying, oh, this is how it ought to go. No, they will not agree to that because they are eating. And the way they have structured themselves, the way they have positioned themselves, they will continue, even if they leave the they leave office, they will not even feel anything. Is it not one of the northern governors that was saying, even if he does not get his second term, that he go back to the US or he go to Saudi Arabia? <laughs> they know they they've already said to themselves. They have already said to themselves. So uh, this most of the time when people always talk about, uh, yes, yeah, don't just think that you are going to be in that position forever. You are going to be out of this after that place forever. <laughs> we are just deceiving ourselves with that statement because. Before that person leaves, he must have settled themselves. You know what I'm talking when it comes to settlement. They must have acquired all, everything they needed to acquire. They will acquire it, and once they come out, they will just be smiling. As at, at some point, they will just be telling, talking as the elder statesman. They will just be giving advice, but they will never suffer because what's supposed to be given to the public, they've already taken it to themselves. And as they are leaving, other people are coming in to take over because they are all majority of them are on the waiting list for them to get in so that they will get their own national cake. And where does that leave you? When those ones come in again, you will start complaining. We start complaining. Oh, yeah, don't worry. It's not going to be, you are not going to be there forever. <laughs> they will still do the same thing because the ones who were, ne- who were there before, you know how they are living. And more so, the, 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 the suffering will not come. It will be a perpetual one. The suffering, will, and that is what we have been experiencing from time immemorial. From time immemorial. That is what we have been experiencing. So this idea of saying, yeah, don't worry. Yeah, very soon you are going to be living there. You are going to live there. You will not be there forever. That is a, we are just deceiving ourselves. They will get there. Others will come. They will see the same thing. You will see the complaint. And yeah, you will come. But your su- suffering will continue. Let's hear what people are saying concerning this, uh, this guy's uh, position, this uh, pastor's position. Someone said, well spoken. This has been what every sensible Nigerian has been saying for a very long time now. It's not much that we do. We be one country. We would do better of splitting into three or four region, regions, and you will see how better we get. But as far as we continue to claim to be together, we will continue to be in this mess till thy kingdom come. You and I know we are not one. So why deceiving ourselves? Let's go our uh, separate ways, and the story will be different. Even if it is bad, let's see the other side of the bad. After all, we have not been good since God knows when. <laughs> Someone said instead of a, okay, forget, just go for your concern, not predicting God. Okay, I support you and your frank position. Thank you for speaking my mind and that of many Nigerians. God bless you and your ministry. Divide the country and let's start afresh. Than this suffering and smiling. <laughs> oh my goodness. God bless you, man of God. You are saying nothing but the truth. Can two work together if they do not agree? Laila, Mbano, it's not going to work. It will work. It makes sense to me. It's the best thing to do. You are a real man of God who doesn't believe in falsehood. I have often written that God himself has divided the country into three by using River Niger, but our leaders are forcing us to stay together because of their selfish motive. By the time the Lord will start to deal with them for allowing lives to waste under their watch, we will again pity them. God is not a respecter of people. He loves those who fear him and do his will. The political pastor of Doom has spoken. Let those in support say, Amen. And those again say nay. Okay. The nay have it. Okay. Someone says, you are a, you are not serious. You say you are a fool. If you don't like what he said, you can go to hell. He has said the mind of many Nigerians. Okay. The only mistake in your speech is that the East wanted presidency. What we wanted is Biafra. The Northern elites will blame themselves for taking Nigerians for granted. They rejected restructuring, which is a smaller demon to enable nigeria to survive they must face the bigger demon which is separation i have never seen pastors see vision for poor people okay they do now they do see at their, their own level pastor who says the, who says the truth and say it may you live long hmm. someone say useless pastor what we 
to you and uh, what will that do to you and your family okay he he that has yes let them hear let them hear the truth but uh, the same worry that you uh professor is dead proud to last year presidential election pre a uh, fake prophet let's please this country let peace read this country is big so guys let us hear your opinion what do you think leave your comment below as to what the pastor has said that um the country should split